Ludwig's angina is a serious and rapidly spreading cellulitis that affects the floor of the mouth. It is commonly caused by bacterial infections, often leading to severe complications if not addressed promptly. The condition can progress within hours, requiring urgent medical intervention. Signs and Symptoms The early stage of Ludwig's angina is characterized by swelling in the floor of the mouth, which can elevate the tongue, making it difficult for patients to swallow saliva. This often results in drooling and impaired speech. As the condition worsens, there is a significant risk of airway obstruction due to the hardening of the spaces surrounding the tongue. Externally, patients may present with swelling on both sides of the lower face and upper neck. Intraorally, the tongue might be pushed backward and the floor of the mouth appears raised due to sublingual involvement. Additional symptoms include neck pain, drooling, toothache, difficulty swallowing, shortness of breath, fever, general fatigue, strider, trismus, and cyanosis. Etiology Dental infections are the leading cause of Ludwig's angina, accounting for a majority of cases. These often involve infections of the lower second and third molars, where the roots extend below the mylohyoid muscle. Other potential causes include oral ulcers, infections linked to oral cancers, fractures of the mandible, submandibular gland infections caused by salivary gland stones, and penetrating injuries to the floor of the mouth. Risk factors. Several systemic conditions predispose individuals to Ludwig's angina, including diabetes mellitus, malnutrition, immunosuppression, and organ transplantation. Diabetes mellitus is implicated in approximately 18% of cases, while human immunodeficiency virus infection and acquired immune deficiency syndrome are noted in a smaller proportion of affected individuals. Diagnosis. Imaging studies play a critical role in diagnosing Ludwig's angina. Dental x-rays help identify infections originating in the roots of teeth, while computed tomography scans of the neck with contrast are used to detect deep neck space infections. In some cases, chest imaging may be necessary to evaluate potential infections in the thoracic cavity. Differential Diagnoses Conditions that may mimic Ludwig's angina include angioneurotic edema, lingual carcinoma, and sublingual hematomas resulting from anticoagulation therapy. Microbiology Ludwig's angina is typically a polymicrobial infection involving anaerobic bacteria. Common pathogens include viridan streptococci, staphylococci, peptostreptococci, and anaerobes such as species of Prevotella, Porphyromonas, and Fusobacterium. Treatment Effective management of Ludwig's angina involves four main principles. Securing the airway, administering broad-spectrum antibiotics, performing surgical incision and drainage when indicated, and providing nutritional and hydration support. Airway management Airway compromise is the primary cause of mortality in Ludwig's angina and must be addressed promptly. Basic methods include positioning the patient upright and administering supplemental oxygen. In more severe cases, endotracheal intubation or tracheostomy may be required. These procedures should be closely monitored as airway deterioration can occur rapidly. Antibiotics Empirical antibiotic therapy targeting both aerobic and anaerobic bacteria is initiated until culture results are available. Common regimens include a penicillin combined with a beta-lactamase inhibitor or beta-lactamase-resistant antibiotics, such as cefoxidin or meropenem. Anaerobic coverage is typically provided by agents like clindamycin or metronidazole. Parenteral antibiotics are continued until the patient is afebrile for at least 48 hours followed by oral therapy for two weeks. Incision and drainage. Surgical drainage is required when medical management fails within 48 hours or if complications arise. The procedure involves bilateral submandibular incisions 
and thorough irrigation to remove necrotic tissue and pus. Postoperative care includes nutritional support, airway management, and monitoring for infection recurrence. Etymology and historical context. The term angina is derived from Latin and Greek words meaning choking or strangling, reflecting the airway obstruction that may occur. Ludwig's angina was first described in 1836 by Wilhelm Frederick von Ludwig. Advances in antibiotic therapy and surgical techniques have significantly reduced mortality rates associated with this condition since the mid-20th century. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.